Hi, Daniel. I think you're looking really good here. This is nice. That's nice type right there. Um, that really is a wonderful headline. Good job. Only suggestion here. I'm glad you, uh, we have this um, uh, PDF open because I want to look at some alignment here. Just let me draw this guy right to the end of your question mark. Oh, you are almost alignment. You got a little bit out of alignment there. But that's pretty good. And then let's just see what's going on over here. The A is hanging over and you're in good alignment there. Good job. Okay, so um, pretty good pretty good job on, on your um, two-column uh, grid. Um, your gutter, your, your rags are really bad because um, they're encroaching on the gutter and just making it a raggy mess. See what I mean? In what otherwise would be a really a gorgeous layout. Really clean. Good job. Um, so glad you're not afraid to use so many students are just falling in love with justified type i that's the one thing i don't like um about beginning typography classes is that students just fall in love with with and, and just forget the beauty of this left line right rag type which is to me it's it's gorgeous um so good job there um indents look good uh, the rags, these rags, and I remember, do a little research on your rags, but you, you're not too bad, but you have some lines that are just really horribly long. This right here is just decimating that right margin. Um, and that gutter, okay, same thing with rays all here, like it goes whoop like that, weird shape. Um, Good job. Nice baseline alignment. Excellent. Everything's looking wonderful here. Let's look at your next. And I do the same thing here. There's too much type here. Daniel, you're, you're doing this paragraph indication. And that's something that you see in, in, a, in a, a document or where you're just out of room and there's no more room. To, but this is a magazine article. So this is something that you just don't see anymore in magazine articles. I would stay away from that. And the reason is this. I have the same comments for this um, layout as I have for this layout in that you're paying a lot of attention to visual hierarchy, and that's wonderful. However, you're not paying attention to typographic hierarchy. Once you establish your visuals, it seems like you're done. Let's use this page for an example. This type right here is just nobody's going to want to read it because it's so dense. Um, it's so dense. I mean, you're going, you're, you're just looking at it going, oh my God, there's just no place to stop or rest. A couple of options here when there's this much text is instead of indenting, uh, uh, a space between, just a small space between paragraphs to demarcate those, those, uh, and that'll break up the page a little bit, the text. Um, you don't even really have to do that. I think just a couple of interesting placement of a couple of call outs and some captions image captions some call outs and some pull quotes and boy this page is just going to have some wonderful resting areas right now in the body copy you're just too interested in pushing the type all the way to the corners we see it on both pages and in both spreads okay so so really think about that okay um breaking up the text with 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 uh, uh, elements of hierarchy. All right, but other than that, typeset looks good and you're looking really good. Good job. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler. Thanks, man. Good job.